I don't know what you're going through. And I know a lot of people are suffering at the moment. Financially, physically, mentally, spiritually, probably most of all. And you feel there's no hope for me. I want to tell you it's a lie from the pit of hell. You can do it. In fact, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 says very clearly, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Just the other day, I had to set loose a little antelope that had got snared around the neck. I have never known such strength from a little animal like that. He could have only weighed about, he was a little uh, ram, a dika ram. He could have only weighed about 10 or 12 kilos. We work with calves on the farm that are weighing 50 kilos every day of the week. We can hold them down. But that little animal, I really struggled with everything I had to try and get that noose off his neck. He would not let me touch him. Why? Because he had that zest and that um, determination to live. You know, they say that the world record, the world record in the Guinness Book of Records for the most weight lifted by the smallest person is held by a woman, not an athlete, a mother. Can you imagine that? Apparently what happened, I think it was in America, her little child had maybe run across the street and a big American Cadillac or something had knocked the child over and the child was trapped underneath the car. They say this little woman who probably only weighed about 110 pounds, she picked the car off her child. And, she, and, and I mean, it, you know, that car weighs tons. I think she had back problems and that afterwards, but she picked that car off her child and they got the baby out. I want to suggest to you that we can do a lot more than we realize. Folks, you have no idea what you can do if you really put your trust in God. My favorite uh, football team, um, um, seven-a-side rugby football team, is Fiji. And you know why? Because those Fijians love Jesus without any apology. They have got embroidered on their rugby jerseys, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me. Then we wonder why they've probably got the all-time record for being world champions the most. It's because they unashamedly stand up for God. We can do amazing things, folks, if we will put our trust and our whole heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. We can perform miracles. I mean, it happened. It's happened many, many times. Jesus fed 5,000 people with two little sardines and five barley loaves of bread. Moses, under the inspiration and direction of God, opened the Red Sea. It's a proper ocean, folks so that two and a half million Jews could walk through. And that wasn't the end of the story. Then when the enemy came chasing after them on dry land, the Bible says, he closed the Red Sea and drowned the whole army. That's a fact. That is documented. I want to say to you, there is nothing which is too hard for you if you put your trust in Jesus Christ. You know, if we look at uh, the, the, the book of Genesis, the first book in the Bible, Genesis chapter 18, verse 14. The Lord asks you a question. And He asks me a question. And this is the question. Is there anything too hard for me? The answer is no. And He asked that question to Sarah. And she was nearly 100 years old. And He promised Abraham that Sarah would bear a son. And he would be the father of many nations. Well, Sarah didn't really believe the Lord. And she went behind the tent and started giggling. <laughs> and that's when the Lord said, is there anything too hard for me, Sarah? And of course, she did conceive. She bore the most beautiful son. His name was Isaac. God wants to give you an Isaac. Maybe it's in your business, in your health, in your family, or maybe it's a child. He asked you a question again today. Is there anything too hard for me? Come on, folks. Let's trust Him. Goodbye.